What is all this? My life. The fruit of my work, all gathered here. And now, I lack the strength to throw it off this cliff. You carried everything up here, only to throw it all down. The horse did most of it. It is the only way I can send my belongings into the next world. My children will not bury it with me. They say they do not want it. But I know they will sell it all once my light burns out. Will you lend me your strength? Throw everything over the cliff. The farther you throw, the better their chance of reaching the next world. That contains a silver harpoon head I received from King Harold. For pulling... May the gods grant you luck for your efforts. I hope it is good luck. Thank you for your help. You did not have to do this. Kind and courageous people live the best lives. But it can be a difficult path to keep. I have tried to live well. It is enough that the gods know that, even if the name Harek Gand is forgotten in Midgard. So, what will you do now that this task is done? Done? That was to announce my arrival. Now I leave this world. Enjoy your life. To Asgard! What? Wait! Yeah. Thank you! Thor's hammer. That was a shock. Is that you? What tiny little child approaches? Me? Ah, many apologies. You are no child, simply a frail and fully grown fool. <laughs> Do we know each other? I know you're a weakling. And you? You need only know my impressive scale and flawless build. Why do you speak to me this way? We are flighting. I've consented to nothing yet. Fine. Do you wish to fleet against me? I do. Here's my wager. I'm ready for you now. Have you ever seen muscles as massive as mine? What you make up in muscles, you're lacking in spine. More than strength, I can boast that my features are fair. They seem perfectly placed to give children a scare. You're brilliant! Yes! More! Have you ever met someone so witty and quick? No, you're quite like your arms, just incredibly thick. Brutal! I adore it! <laughs> Wonderful! Rare to find someone with any flighting skin. You deserve every bit of your bet and more. I'll remember some of those insults. Happy to be of service. Eivor Wolfkiss, is that you? It is Rolf, yeah? We raided with you that one time up on the northern coast. I am flattered you remember. It was the first time Styrbjörn let us raid so far from home. And Sigurd was sure you took more than your fair share. You're still raiding at your age. We need to grab what we can before Harald has his say across Norway. But I only plan them now. I let others do the heavy work. In fact, I'm looking for someone to lead my crew. I would like to help you out, but I have my own crew now. I did not mean you, but I could use your help choosing a leader. I have picked out a few to be tested. Tested? How? If you want to see someone's true character, 
test it in battle. Huh. Show me your picks. My crew is gathered down by the docks. Locals mostly. But he could power a ship by himself. That shield maiden is Ashield the Keen. Her blade is as quick as her wits. And then, there is Thorgils. Rolf! Who is your friend? Keep your head on the fight or someone will crack it. All right! That one is so thick, he could shatter your shield. But the other men like him. And those are the best of the bunch. So, those three, yeah? I've handled more. You want to fight them all at once? Why not? Raids are the stuff of chaos itself. They need a test with no rules. Challenge them, but do not damage them. It was hard enough finding this many. Listen up, you sea slugs. This is Eivor Wolfkist, who has killed more men than you will ever meet. Eivor Wolfkist? I have heard of you. This will be great. You want to lead my crew? You must fight Eivor. Best fighter wins. No killing, no maiming. Other than that, no rules. Understand? I am ready. <gasps> fight! That's enough! Did I win? No, but you fought well. You have a good chance. Did you see what you were looking for? Yes, I did not think Thorgils could do it, but he is thick-headed, like his old man. <laughs> Wait, that is your boy, Tiny Thor. He used to barely reach my belly. He has grown, and now he will want to take everything from me. But such is the way of children. Take some silver for your trouble. And a little extra, for cheating you and Sigurd on that raid. Good luck! Welcome, warrior! Sulke Silvertongue offers wonders from across the Nine Worlds. Rare objects. Priceless artifacts. And yet you have put a price on them. Everything has value, wise one. But I ask only a fraction of its worth. What would you say to a piece of Christ's cross? Snakeskin from Ragnar Lothbrok's death pit? These items do not look very impressive. Like this old shoe. That belonged to the first Christian Pope. Or maybe it was a saint. It brings the blessing of their god. They would need it with that shoe. And there's an old leather strap. A shield strap belonging to the hero Sigurthur when he fought the great beast. Yeah, my mother had one embroidered like that. And what about that helmet? That was the helmet Hafton the Black wore when he died in battle. It will protect you and bring good crops. That is a lie. It was the helmet my father Varen wore the night he was killed. Eh? Eivor? I know you now, Silke the Snake. And these are things from my old home. How much silver did Kjotve pay you to betray us? No silver. It was not like that. I was there that night, but I did not fight for Kjotve. I ran! Coward. I should cut you down. No! Leave me alone! Your treachery ends here. Please, I never betrayed Farron. On my life, I was frightened and I fled. And when I returned, everyone was gone or dead. And yet you looted our dead, bartered the ashes of their lives. It was all I could find. I sold nothing for a long time. But the weight grew too heavy and I needed to eat, to survive. This is not living. Without honor, we are worse than beasts and have no hope of a better life beyond this realm. This world is all I know. And this life, all I have left. Would you take that from me? Take anything you want from my shop. Take everything. Just let me live. This quest will put me in the ground. You arrived without a sound. Are you a scald? I have never heard poetry shouted in this way. A scald? Oh no, not at all. 
I am truly looking for honor and have become lost as a result. You're looking for honor here? It's a bit remote. I am the seventh son of a seventh son. I am expected to bring great honor to my family. But everything has been done. My uncles and brothers have all had great victories, or even greater deaths. There's nothing left for me to do. The gods have been deaf to my pleas, but you are here. So you want a great victory from me? Or a great death? No! I want to live! And I could not possibly hope to win against you. That is true. But maybe you could lead me to a victory. I can tell by looking at you, you are not a great warrior. You know it too. There's no reason to deny this. I could bring you a chance at honor. An animal of some kind. Something you could handle. Yes, yes. That could work. I could add a few details. Nothing too exaggerated. Skalds do it all the time. So now you're a Skald. Do not go anywhere. I will only do this once. I will be here. On my heart. Survey the area sooner. Now, win your honor. They are much bigger up close. I do not think I can do this. I do not think I can do this! Come, Alan. Honor calls. Keep focused. I did it! What an incredible fight! You got a few stabs in. How was your first kill? Gods! I have never felt so alive! My Hooger soars on raven's wings! With this rebirth comes a new name. From this day, you will be called Erland Bearbane, Terror of the Caves. Oh, it suits me. You know, now that I think about it, I think my story should be told in verse. Farewell, Beast Beta. Erland Bearbane, hear my name and quiver! Crawl back into your... Land. What is this menace you shout about? Is it some creature you hunt? I pray is the most cunning of beasts, capable of vile deeds beyond the ability of any common animal. You are hunting someone then? A warlock. One who once called himself a man, but has since befouled his hoover. His whole being with twisted Seder magic. This has the feel of something more personal. The evil spider who squats in yonder hut poisoned my own sister. For that alone, it deserves to die. But maybe you would be moved to help by the bounty King Harald has offered for any warlock killed. Prophet can persuade where passion fails. I will weigh this against the effort. The warlock makes its lair down this road to the left. Keep an eye out. Have you come to face me, finally? Are you the warlock who laid a curse on this land? There was a curse here long before I came along. A curse of ignorance that infects all of Midgard. So you're not using your magic against this land and its people? I try to use my knowledge to help others. I am only a threat to those who fear the unknown, of which there are many. As a hunter who believes you poisoned his sister. I tried to save her. I made a mixture that would have burned away her illness, but he chose to drench her in pig's blood. If there is any blame here, it lies on him and his ignorant kin. He killed his sister. Do not listen. He will poison our thoughts. You have no thoughts to poison. Die, monster! To ah! Men like this are more dangerous than any magic. They kill wisdom. You may claim his belongings. His body I will give to the land.
This giant spawn must die. The mighty heart. Which Jarl? He has been taken by bandits! Come quickly! A Jarl taken by bandits! If you are as brave as you appear here, you will come! You will be well rewarded! Follow me! Go on, they are up ahead. You know where they are. You lead. Fine, follow me. This pathetic gamble has cost them their lives. They threatened to kill me if I did not help. So to save your life, you led others to their death. Our village was burned by Kjotve the Cruel. We had to flee to the forest. Those who survived grew mean and desperate. Olaf, one of the men you killed, said we had to fight for our land. But he only wanted to kill for silver. You picked the wrong fight. I am of Raven Clan and Kjotve's sworn enemy. Then we share a common foe, and I was wrong to use you like that. Your second mistake was choosing me as your prey. That was not a mistake. Y you looked like a good fighter. I, I was hoping you would kill or weaken Olaf so I could escape. You are young and still foolish, so I will spare you your life. But cross me again, or harm anyone I cherish, and you will join your friends in Helheimer's foul forests. Y you will never see me again. Uh, I will be a white rabbit in the snow! I did not expect to find anyone on this island. And why not? This is England, home to a nation of Saxons and Danes. Our shores are open for trade. England? That is not what I expected. Many from Norway find the trip dizzying, but fortunately you have me to guide you. I know the land better than my own son. Are you all right? My son, nesting with the Picts north of Hadrian's Wall. Who knows what schemes they're hatching, or the sort of people they might send to spy on me. You said something about a tour? Of course, of course, a tour. Follow me. This is the city of London, first built by the Romans during ancient times. We have not seen builders like that since. I guess they had to work with what they had. These are the Dover Cliffs, famous for their bluebirds. Hmm. Here is Jorvik, the Dane city of trade. Keep this between us, but King Alfred has a plan for Jorvik. I see. This is Hadrian's Wall, our last line of defense against the barbarous Picts. It is a line of sorts. At the end of our tour is Winchester, the heart of Wessex, where... Where is King Alfred? Those honorless Picts! They have taken the king! We must seek them north of Hadrian's Wall! Where are you, my king? My king! What happened? Why won't you speak? Who in hell's name are you? Why are you going through my things? Thor's balls you found it. Why did you take it back? You set him off again, traitor! The king won't speak to me! You cut out his tongue! He has no tongue! Because you cut it out! You are his son? Do not feed this fantasy. His wits wither and become those of a babe. I took him here to ease his madness, but it grows worse. I try using reason or playing along, but he hears only what he wants to hear. Only what he wants to hear. Hmm. I have an idea that could help. If you let me. Old man, your king is worn out from his ordeal. I can hear him speak 
very softly. He is praising you. He wants to thank... He Sing. He wants to thank He Sing for his loyalty to the crown. What else does he say? The Picts, terrified at word of your approach, will pledge themselves to the crown if you spare their lives. They will? And they agree to pay a daily tribute of food and other goods in exchange for free passage through your lands. Oh, it is a good deal and greater news. Thank you. You may leave the king in my care now. This will only lead to further delusion. You will know at least that he eats every day. And maybe someday the Fark will lift. Forgive my ill will. I knew this would be a difficult end, but sometimes the weight bears down heavily. There's courage and honor in what you do, and the gods know it. Good luck to you. Looks like England is united. The Picts have been fine subjects. King Alfred is pleased. One who wanders widely, and has traveled far, will learn the scope of mankind's nature, and discover common sense. Ivan, wake up, or you will be cast into the wild. Must stay awake. They could be anywhere. Is he walking in his sleep? Ivan, wake up, you're headed for the edge. Is he going to ride the rope slide? Windy. Storm coming. <laughs> Ivan! Ivan! Calm down. You are asleep. No! I was flying through the air! In your sleep. A harsh awakening, true. But at least you live. Have you always taken these dream walks? Since my posting here, when I am in bed, I worry about ways we could be attacked. When I'm on watch, I cannot stay awake. Only a fool stays awake all night worrying. You're tired when you get up, and the problem is still not solved. You speak with the wisdom of Odin, Eivor. I will think on these words when I am in bed. Consider them on your watch, and sleep when you're in bed. But now, report back before you're labeled a deserter. Go. You're a long way from any warm hearth, warrior. Is this where you call home? My name is Eric Loyalskull. The great King Ragnar Lothbrok named me such. When we fought tearing up the fields of England, we built families, overthrew kingdoms, sailed mountains, fought for whole seasons. And now... Now he is gone. All of Norway laments the passing of King Ragnar. I cannot imagine the sorrow his warriors now feel. We are but six who remain. His most loyal, Drengir. Yet without his guiding light, his strength and vision, we are lost. 
It was in this cavern that I knew my life was tied to Ragnar's. We were young, hunting a bear, when we chanced upon this spot. He killed it with nothing but a knife. Leapt on its back, held tight, writhing like a fly on a dragon, he stayed put. And it was done. Peace. Together we celebrated the kill, as if we had felled the beast together. That is when I knew I would live and die for this man. I did not die beside my lord in Ali's pit of snakes. But I can make amends. Fight me, warrior. Send me to meet him in Odin's hall. It is with great honor I will fight a true Dringa. When you're ready. Very well. For Ragnar Lothbrok, the true king of Norway. For Ragnar, for glory, for the wandering down here do I raise... <sighs> a fitting end to honorable warring. Now I go to see my brother. He who laughed at death. Scourge of all England, Ragnar Lothbrok. Farewell, Dringa. Listen for hoofbeats and follow the Valkyries home. Twice if I stay here. Mm. I think this is yours. Halt in your search. A winner. And my comb have been found. Now, the price for finding my comb is some of my time. A walk in nature may be more if that is where our conversation takes us. I see. Lead on, this. Once I thought the same man had what the fuck? Me pipes. Gave me a fright. Turned out to be triplets. If this comb is worth nothing to you, what shall I do with it? You could keep it. Comb your hair. Or... I could comb it if you like. Comb my hair? Is that why those men scrambled over each other? I could do more than comb your hair. Find all your nuts and snags and tame them. If you'd like. My shoulders are tense, and my hair is a tangle. I could use a softer touch for these kinks. Then let me. Mmm, delicate touch. Indelicate voice. This was fun, Eivor. Hold on to the comb, as a keepsake. Thank you, Beale. You tamed some knots I haven't been able to reach myself. 